Good morning, this is Sifu Slim and I am here in Taganga, Colombia. It's a lovely place. The fishermen and the tour boats are taking people out. There are the fishing poles. And uh, we've got life jackets, we've got people bailing a boat down here, cleaning them off. It's a breezy morning and uh, it's cloudy, which uh, you wouldn't think you'd normally want, but believe me, on the Caribbean coast here, Caribbean coast, you want breeze, which we have today, and you want clouds because it's very, very warm here year-round. And I'm here in January 2019. I'm in a place called Taganga, and Taganga is outside of Santa Marta. It's a town of 6,000 people and plenty of tourists. The hostels are mostly 70 to 80 percent capacity right now and uh, you know it's after the Christmas and New Year's holidays so still really good turnout for this lovely place Taganga and the reason I came here is because of Bogota if you've uh, been to Mexico City Cairo um, Los Angeles you'll know what, Tag uh, what Bogota is all about Bogota is very crowded and uh, transportation is there's no other word for it it's horrible uh, there are buses that take people around but you get caught up in traffic and the taxis pretty much run the city but they're full of traffic and the air is not good uh, the weather is cooler so it's in the high 40s through 60s and it, that was kind of pleasant for me but getting around that very large city of nine million people was a bear. Compare that to Brisbane. Brisbane three times the square miles of Bogota and one-third the people. So you get three million people in Brisbane, nine million in Bogota. So I jumped ship and came up here and didn't go to Santa Marta which has over a million people. I think it's a million and a half which is a historic city right up here in the Caribbean on the Caribbean coast but I wanted village, so that's where I came to the village here of Taganga. And you can see some of these thatched hut buildings and mountains right beyond me here. See if I can show you the. So here's the coastline and the nice harbor of Taganga, La Bahia, the bay. And then it goes up, and then you go to Tyreno. Tairano National Park and that's a lovely place all kinds of tour groups and you can go to the lost city there and I'm here at my favorite restaurant Donde Rafa Estrella del Mar the star of the sea and these are some of the things you can get so 15,000 getting this omelet today, 15000 is about $5. Can you imagine that in 2019? An omelet with bread, butter, marmalade, juice, natural fresh squeezed juice from the local fruit trees and a cafe. And I'm getting an extra large omelet with four eggs. And instead of bread, I'm getting I'm getting patacones, which is plantains smushed with uh, cheese, and they're very good. It's like a fritter, and my, my total cost today will be like 20,000 pesos, which will which will be under eight dollars. So that's what I am up to. And instead of going to Honolulu like I have been the last three years, I st am staying here in Taganga and Colombia where life is much less expensive, much easier to get in touch with people in Hawaii. I have to call up and schedule time with my friends and then go fight through traffic to go to see them. And you've got, you know, in Honolulu you've got just a bare, huge amount of people uh, in those high, large hotels, you know, 30-story hotels. And I, I decided to stay here where I can just walk down 
from my host hotel to this main drag here and I can see people and talk to people and at the hotel I can see people and talk to people whenever I want just walk out of my room and there are people chit chat have nice conversations mostly in Spanish so I'm getting the added advantage of working on my Spanish so that's what I'm up to I couldn't show you the mountain the, the buildings are blocking the mountains uh, let me see I got one little shot here maybe I'll be able to take you through and show you the mountain one little shot through the trees you can see the mountain right up above but that's not cooling us off it's um, keeping the heat in the way this microclimate works so this is a seafood restaurant all kinds of wonderful seafood so double my uh, 15,000 and that gets you down to ten dollars for seafood rice dish which is a full meal ten dollars how do you beat that in 2019 Estrella del Mar and they must have oh, I would guess 30 restaurants in this town and probably another 30 hotels hostels and then separate rentals so I'm going to show you what I'm up to in terms of uh, making things work here in Taganga. Tiger bomb. Very important for the uh, very important for the mosquitoes. Got my walking stick, and this walking stick is not just an, a walking stick; it's a warning to the criminals, uh, mostly under 25-year-olds, who can come by and on a motorcycle and grab your satchel uh, if you're a woman much easier come by and grab your purse uh, or if you just happen to have something in your hand they can come by and, and grab that gracias and so there's my really good coffee you've heard of Colombian coffee and that has leche in it really good stuff I'm not normally a coffee drinker probably have maybe five a year and there's the fresh squeezed, fresh squeezed local tropical drink he named the fruit and I can't remember it so besides Tiger Bomb what do you want these are my glasses I use for cycling and doing any work or I'm involved with sparks or dust or chipping so those are my safety glasses and I and I wear them for two things bugs and dust there's a lot of dust on the streets and the motorcycles and trucks and buses are going by and kicking up dust all the time so a lot of people were not a lot but maybe 10 percent were masks on their mouths so here's the conversion one dollar equals three thousand pesos five is fifteen thousand six hundred and it goes up from there ten thousand dollars is 31 million pesos so always have that handy dandy one to a million um, conversion chart with you that's really helpful another thing you want is your swimming goggles and these of course are the goggles that don't leave marks around your eyes because they've got this white area here and it doesn't cover your nose like a scuba goggle a scuba mask would this allows you to still breathe got my radio headset which I've been using and they stopped making I don't know 15 20 years ago and this is my Sony got AM and FM radio hands free no wires hanging down and I, I use that for hiking running workouts etc it's wonderful there's the rash guard and that serves many purposes used it this morning because there were some horse flies out during my workout and uh, so that kept them off of me and then uh, use it for the Sun and, and when I'm hiking sometimes even when I'm swimming if it's really hot and bright I'll wear that swimming and then just you know your beach bathing suit short type thing 
And then, so the stick, what does that serve? Besides walking around, I do with my stick. Um, it helps keep uh, the delinquents thinking that, hey, they could get whacked by a stick by this guy. You know, it's much better to have a stick than not have a stick if you've got delinquents in the area. They think twice about approaching you. And uh, you could really whack somebody with a stick like this. Another thing it does, it keeps the dogs away. The dogs sometimes growl because it's their street. If you go down a street that doesn't have as much traffic, the dogs don't come up to you when you have the stick. And so I've been, you know, I walk around with a stick wherever I am in Colombia, and it's been quite helpful. So that's it from Taganga, you know, your usual backpack with all your other stuff and money and, and good stuff. So that's how I'm rolling in Taganga and it's a lovely day and I'm so pleased because it's only about 78 right now and it's um, it's not sunny and that's rare usually I've got my sunglasses on and uh, it's pretty powerful you know 90 degrees 88 degrees and baking sun so I really appreciate today because it's a rarity you know we got clouds in the sky and you can see the breeze in the trees very windy right now and this is the perfect day for outdoor activities and indoor activities you know where I'm staying right now I have a single room with a huge fan over my bed but I have no air conditioning so I you know take a lot of showers to keep cool if you don't have cross ventilation you're doomed so that's what I'm uh, that's what I'm up to in Colombia but um, this is the loudest town I've ever been to they, uh, the people here play music uh, with these large loudspeakers and the, the locals told me it started about 2003, 15, 16 years ago. And it's for some reason those giant speakers hit here late. They hit America in the late 80s. Um, but here, actually the mid early 80s, those big speakers, late 70s, early 80s, came, came around with hip-hop, and uh, after, right after disco, those gigantic speakers, and they hit here, and the smaller, more powerful ones hit here about 2003, and the locals consider themselves um, DJs, and they play that music until 2 in the morning. You'll see them sitting on their front patios or inside their front porch, with um, with these big speakers blasting. So it's so loud that you cannot even hear yourself talk. You couldn't hear yourself talk, let alone the person speaking to you. And I think it's just a, a big piece of ignorance. I'll, I'll do a video on that cultural ignorance about that loud music and not respecting your neighbor whose kids have to go to school the next day and neighbors who have to go to work or just want to go to sleep. So I, I often go to sleep between... Uh, nine and ten you're if you want to do that down in the two two houses away from where i am you're getting blasted like it's like you're in a disco of uh of loud techno so there you have it we'll do a video on the noise so you can actually see what i'm talking about but it's uh it's it's a bummer the noise is a bummer and then another bummer is the people selling you stuff they sell you stuff all day long. They're coming up trying to sell you, you know, the little things they'll make you in copper wire. And uh, nice stuff, you know, really nice handmade crafts, but they just keep bugging you. Food and artisanry, they're trying to sell you all the time. That's what the local custom is to, to make a buck. And it's, it's unfortunate. You wish you could just have vendors where you approach and you buy stuff, but here they're hitting you up wherever you are, sitting, walking all the time so loud loud and sales are the two downers besides warmth and I mentioned horse flies occasionally and mosquitoes but, uh, dust there's another one but besides that everything else is cool and you can speak Spanish and you get to swim in the Caribbean which is warm probably 80 degree water maybe 85 some sometimes and uh, you can go touring around, scuba and hiking and all that good stuff. So I'm Sifu Slim, wishing you all the best in your health, happiness, and wellness. Aloha. Ciao.